Hey guys, good afternoon. How the fuck is everybody doing today? So I come for ask these banks in Guyana motherfucking question. Now, if I have an account with you and I did not make a purchase on my fucking credit card or bank card, whatever the case is, and I call you or I come into the bank to dispute the charge on my on my account your job is to replace my money and then do an investigation okay that's your job now i have numerous reports within my inbox with various banks in Guyana where people funds are going missing from their account okay and once they come into the bank y'all telling oh we're going to do an investigation but you are not replacing the motherfucking people money so who is stealing these funds and where is it fucking going? And why is the bank not being held responsible for these people's money? Why should I take the last? I trust you and put my fucking money in you, bank. How the fuck now you can tell me you know who thief me money? So what, my money not safe with you? My money is safe with you? So what a scout should do, put that in my bed and keep it there? When funds go missing from somebody's bank account, it's your job to replace the money because you're supposed to protect people's money. And then you do your investigation after you refund my fucking money. The fuck? Now, what are these banks doing to protect people? Hey guys, good morning. How the fuck is everybody doing today? So I come for tell y'all fuck us a story this morning. Well, as y'all know, it's my birthday, fucking weekend, and auntie, happy, happy, happy. So, let me explain something to y'all right now. Oh, yes, yeah, a fucking story I come to tell y'all, I forget. So, they got this hippopotamus and this alligator who's best friends. And you see, this hippopotamus had a dream that this alligator win a bunch of money, and both of them become rich and run off into the sunset and live happily ever after. Now, they they um they're trying to get rich off of this um this cougar money <laughs> what i mean i understand this cougar ain't even got three fucking cent this oh cougar <laughs> not ooga, cougar <laughs> ain't even got three hair punch your fucking cat forget him and we gonna run off into the fucking sunset poor still all right no, you're a your mother scunt. Or the fuck you, man. I like crosses. Hey guys, good morning. How the fuck is everybody doing today? It's a comfort that you mother scunt something. Yeah, I remember a few months ago when I run that whole GoFundMe story, okay? The whole scamming thing. Remember I run the fucking story? And when the individual was about to create another fucking GoFundMe claiming that she had breast cancer, what happened, ma'am? The breast cancer disappeared? You don't got it no more? Mm? So you was about to rob the whole motherfucking internet pretending to have breast cancer. Now I would like you to bring forward those reports, okay? Because you don't tell the whole internet that you had fucking breast cancer. Now what happened? What happened? Now, secondly, Guyana fucking rude by. I never fucking black you, so there's no way I could unblock you for see you doing no fucking live with no motherfucking body. I don't even know that you fucking exist anymore. I don't even check on fucking you unless somebody send me something that you said about me, okay? It's been over a motherfucking year. You're not tired of speaking about me, sir, eh? The obsession is giving delusion all at this point here. All right, as to the other fucking one with Sumi, <laughs> she looking like a full joke in America right fucking now because them ain't got no evidence to support nothing with a fucking say in Congress or fucking wherever the scandal went, nothing to support it. So all I'm looking flat, flat, flat right now. Karma dealing with a mother scum. As to the other one, we'll try to throw me a funeral. I promise y'all I got to fucking she real funeral before she could ever attend my fucking funeral. All right, now. Let me get back to the GoFundMe lady. Uh, Ma'am, where is the results? Eh? Where there? Where there? Where the results there? Eh? We still waiting. Or you just want to collect the people money? Eh? And don't forget, um, what is Soko artist's name that you're sending him pictures of those same girls? Eh? Trying to entice him? I'm going to tell you all the soccer artist's name. 
soon wait i'm ready for you yet let me talk about the video that dropped the other day with the one that sued me with the woman accusing she all sorts of nonsense and showing me i tell him reach me at the station that should defend so mom i got a question for you are you authorized by law do you work with an institution or an organization that requires you to take somebody's social security number from you you and the other woman y'all authorized by law to receive that huh who gave you and her the right to dig into that woman credit history eh? do you work with a fucking irs right now y'all looking like a fucking joke in congress from fucking washington y'all in shame eh? y'all in fucking shame eh? now i tell y'all already I could try for bury me, I could fucking sue me, I could do with the fuck I, but I ain't gonna shut me the fuck up. You hear what I'm telling you? The opposition is dead. Dead. All right? PPP gonna win the next fucking election. Now, yeah, I'm gonna bring out your evidence to back up all your fucking claims in Washington. Yeah, some fucking jokes. And Lola, you're so great at doing motherfucking funerals, I think. It's fucking time you throw up new a fucking federal candidate. All right, bury them. Bernard was never telling no lie. Bernard always talk about the hiding in Guyana. He said Guyana's the richest Caribbean country. You got enough diamond, you got enough gold, you got enough iron. But the day they touch the iron, they, they go raise up volcano in Guyana. Are we below sea level? Sea level, are we gonna sink and die? Now, because of fucking money, because of greed of money, look what's going on now. Now, we get a volcano storm right now, guys. I'm gonna ask myself, Borna was know what he's doing? If he was an old time military man, he know what's going on. He, he done science, the, 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 the future. But it's so, I was so concerned about the money, huh? Now we get him working and nobody get a fucking house to live. Everybody still polish him. Everybody still going through the time. Everybody going through the same thing. Everybody time hard. Now this whole country could sink as this, this is sea level there. Can kill everybody in Guyana. And the embassy in Guyana, they don't fucking be able to travel. So what going on now? Are you come tell me we're going out with the volcano? All the news report. Find the fucking cripple that we know going on. If we start from Lyndon Morris, if we start from, I you come in? Cause me now make a false news coming first flash in Facebook news. Join. I you come tell we going on? Borden was protecting us. Even though it was money, he wasn't selling the iron. He always said 50%, 53% or nothing. Cause you know the risk was coming. So all this money can save all this guy in these people's life. And you come tell what we're going on with the fucking work, you know. Because Bonham was the right man for the fucking president. He was the right man that ruled this fucking place. All this shit stupidness going on because of money. Now we got to start with every house we sink with me and melt me inside of it. So now time we got to look up the sea be fucking floor smoking. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Like you got to travel now the country.